so this is the reason why I believe Saul Canelo Alvarez is the very, very smart bet against Gennady Golovkin in his upcoming fight on September 16th, 2017. So, Gennady Golovkin is being set up to lose. And the reason I say this is because he had a 22-23 knockout streak ended in his last fight. He did not look invincible. He did not knock his opponent out. And might I even say he did look old, which is not surprising because he's 35 years old. He's not in his early 30s and he's not in his 20s anymore. Sal Canelo Alvarez brings in a ton of fans from the Mexican community and the Mexican American community. This fight was an option, <clears throat> or this fight was already being requested by the fans two to three years ago. Like around 2014 to 2015, when Gennady Golovkin knocked out Marco Antonio Rubio, and when he knocked out Martin Murray in 2015. So this fight was being requested, but because of boxing politics and because of the very smart management of Saul Canelo Alvarez, this fight was not going to be possible. Because risking the the risk of having Canelo Alvarez knocked out is going to do such a damage to the amount of money being generated in boxing that they had to make Sal Canelo Alvarez or his management who is very smart who know what they're doing basically had to avoid Gennady Golovkin as much as possible I'm not saying boxing is fixed although a lot of people would say that but I do believe that boxing is very 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 much set up and steered in a direction where it favors pay-per-view stars over guys who do not have huge names or do not have huge followings. Although Gennady Golovkin has a bunch of knockouts on his career and he is undefeated, he will never, ever pull in as much viewership as Canelo Alvarez brings. Canelo Alvarez has the Mexican community on his side and he also has the Mexican American community on his side. He is a huge star and he will always be a bigger star than Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Golovkin does not generate what, Canelo, what Saul Canelo Alvarez does. And this is why I'm saying that if this fight even goes to a decision, if this fight is remotely close and it goes to a decision, there is no way in hell Gennady Golovkin is going to take the decision. In the fight between Floyd Mayweather and Canelo Alvarez, this went a full 12 rounds and Floyd Mayweather, according to every single website, every single expert, dominated the fight completely. And there were there were people who gave Floyd Mayweather the 12 rounds to zero. And yet, at the very end of the fight, a judge still scored it a draw. Which I is only which can only happen due to dirty politics in boxing. And then you have the Canelo fight where he fought Austin Trout where the fight was considered very close, yet at the end of the 11th round, before the final round, Austin Trout was told by his corner, or by somebody, I forgot who it was, that he was down 10 rounds and he had to knock out Canelo Alvarez to win the fight. The boxing politics, unsurprisingly, are in Canelo Alvarez's favor, which is why I'm telling you, at underdog odds, and based off of how Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin have looked in their last fights, I completely expect Canelo Alvarez to have all the advantages in this fight. And yes, he could get come in and get knocked out in the first round or whatever or in a few rounds. But if we're going to be betting, you have to put money on Canelo. He has just too many things on his side. He also has the age on his side. He has the boxing politics on his side. 
do not be surprised if this fight goes to a decision where Gennady Golovkin should take the decision and Canelo Alvarez is given a robbery. Do not be surprised. And honestly, if it goes to a decision and it is close, please come back to this video and let me know. And because I know that 100%, Canelo Alvarez will take the decision even if it is a robbery. Bet on Canelo. I can't guarantee you will win, but it is a smart bet. Thank you.